Hey there, all of my Scorpio people out there, sun, moon, and rising. It's time to have a look and see just what is going on when it comes to your weekly astrological and tarot card forecasts for the week starting October 28th, 2024. And just a quick reminder for everybody out there, your monthly forecasts for November are up. And so if you haven't seen those yet, you might want to go watch those after you finish your business here. And of course, if you ever want to get a personal reading with me, go on ahead to my website. It's Integrative Mystery mysticism.com. So what's going on with your astrology weather for this week? Well, on the 28th, we've got Mars in Cancer trying to Neptune retrograde in Pisces, which is all about bringing missing pieces together in a way that's going to be very advantageous for you and any kind of expansive big moves, big travel plans, or any kind of work or effort you were trying to put forward that's going to help you maybe broaden the horizons of either a work path or maybe your love life and your social life. This is the time where a lot of you are getting a chance to close the distance between yourself and things that have been kept at a long distance, whether it's people, work, opportunities, or any kind of big moves or big travel plans or big shifts that you would like to see happen with you and yours at home. Whatever the case is, be prepared for the missing pieces that have not been available for that to come together. On the 31st, we've got Mercury in Scorpio, your sign, forming a lovely trine to Neptune, retrograde in Pisces. And this is going to be securing and straightening roads as it relates to either a, a matter of your romantic life or possibly something you have going on with one of your children that you've been needing some assistance with either sorting out or getting started. This could actually be even opening up some kind of special road for a shift in relationship dynamics with a partner or with one of your kids and making one that is a lot more adventurous and a lot more let's just say more fun let's just say more fun for all involved bringing more recreation but a lot more adventure into these connections as well so that's what we've got for your astrology and the weather let's have a look and see what's going on with your tarot and the traffic all right scorpio here is your tarot traffic and it looks like for your earth sector when it comes to your work job and finances you've got the knight of swords reversed now, the Knight of Swords reversed, even when reversed, is indicative of a good time, at least as far as the commodity of money and finances are concerned. So things are actually going really well there. But the Knight of Swords reversed can often talk about treacherous territory or difficult engagements with other people that, if we're not careful, could leave a mark. And there could be some problems that come up in a conflict, either around a particular person or maybe a plan of action that is a bit risky. A lot of the times the Knight of Swords reverse can put us at odds with a co-worker, a family member, a boss, a customer uh, that may actually be uh, almost impossible to reason with. And this could create some strife in the workplace or strife in a, in a financial or family situation just because of that itself. So we don't want to let this person or this, this, this situation catch fire. For your community, friends, relatives, and other people in your life, you've got the Ten of Pentacles reversed. And the Ten of Pentacles reversed is kind of the heads up card. Uh, there could be something coming forward about a transition uh, or, or some kind of big move or turning of a page that's not happening this week, but it is something that's happening down the road. Now, this could be news about somebody getting ready to make a big move or something that is getting ready to close up. But what's happening here with the Ten of Pentacles is that this can still actually be something that is good for you and yours. There may be some kind of bonus or benefit that is coming out of this situation, but be careful. With the Ten of Pentacles reversed, this can also, um, you know, it kind of, it can be upsetting for some people or some people might not necessarily be welcoming the change, even if it could turn out to be good. For your challenge this week, 
you've got the world reversed. Now the world reversed is all about undos and do-overs. So it's actually a really good reversed card, right? But when it comes up as a challenge, sometimes this card can indicate a need for us to be ready to undo something that we have already put in motion or undo something that uh, somebody else has done. A lot of the times this card will show up as a challenge because we have to acknowledge where a wrong move or a wrong plan maybe has already been at work that we have the ability to undo or unmake and it's going to be good for us to be ready to take that on take up that cup however with the world card reversed you may also have a pleasant challenge show up with a do-over on something that you don't have good feelings about but could be better another time around for your relationships with love romance and partnerships you've got the Ace of Pentacles upright. And the Ace of Pentacles is all about stability, strong new beginnings, longevity, and even success. And when we have this card show up in Love and Romance, there is a new normal, a new secure, prosperous normal that is getting set in stone. Now, for a lot of you, this could be some really good news about um, maybe something that you and a partner are achieving or accomplishing together, or this could be something that is helping to present a victory and a new beginning in your love life. This could also indicate some happy news financially that's also kind of sealing the deal there as well, or maybe something else relating to a household or uh, relationship priority. And for those of you who are single or are available to new people, this does indicate an opportunity for new love to show up, but it's going to be taking its time, right? This The Ace of Pentacles often promises longevity and security and good fortune if we do take our time. It's the kind of uh, love opportunity that we need to be ready to heat up over time instead of starting off hot and then cooling off. And finally, for your spiritual advice, your guidance, you've got the Magician card upright. And the Magician is the Rising Star card, very main character energy, and that's kind of what you are going through this week with. The Magician is indicating this week is all about you getting elevated. This week is all about you rising to power, and you also getting a chance to become a greater influence in all corners of your world. Do not be afraid to actually use that influence, and do not be afraid of being more visible or even promoting yourself in many respects. Just understand with the Magician card upright, the power that you're getting has to be put to use. So don't just sit on it. So that's what I've got for you all. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, don't forget my name is Nico, son of Celine. And should you ever want to get a session with me, you can go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com.